Hello and welcome to Dr. Mommy Cakes. Today I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful, delicious marble cake. Marble cake is a delicious blend of chocolate and vanilla all in one cake. And it looks amazing with the marble texture as you can see here in this cake. So I'm going to show you how you can make this at home. If you look in the description section, you'll find a full list of the quantities of all the ingredients. So I like to sift my flour when making marble cake and that's because the chocolate um, bit can be quite dense so by sifting uh, the flour that gives me a nice uh, fluffy texture for my cake. Next add all the other dry ingredients so your baking powder and your salt um, with the flour and set aside. Next, we're going to cream um, the sugar and the flour mixture. So um, use room temperature butter um, that is soft but not melted. And you're going to use the paddle extension of your stand mixer or if you have a hand mixer, you can use this as well. So creaming will take you from about a minute or two, uh, making sure that in between you stop to so scrape the bowl so that all the sugar and the butter are probably combined together and once you've creamed your um, sugar and butter mixture it should look just like in here and you can see it's soft fluffy and has increased in volume at this stage i like to prep my um, chocolate so i'm using milk chocolate um, in small chunks and i'm going to melt it in the microwave do this in burst of 30 seconds um, so that you have nice melted chocolate with no chunks but don't do it too long otherwise you will burn your chocolate and the reason I do my chocolate now is so that it will have time to cool down uh, before I put it into my uh, cake batter so this is how your chocolate should look like and this took me about uh, one minute um, in the microwave so Next to your batter, you're going to add in your eggs, uh, whisking on low to medium speed for about a minute until it's nicely combined together. In this recipe, I add extra egg yolk. This brings a deliciousness and richness to my batter and to my cake. It is optional if you don't have egg yolks, but I would recommend that you don't skip it. It will really, really make your, ta your cake taste amazing and good. Have you subscribed? If you haven't, click the subscribe button now. Once the egg yolk has mixed your mixture, um, add in your vanilla and remember to use good quality vanilla. If you don't know about flavoring, check out my baking 101 um, tutorial on flavoring. Mix on medium to high speed for about 30 seconds to a minute. Scrape down your bowl nicely, make sure it's all nice and combined. Uh, and then next you'll be ready to add in your flour to your batter. Now remember, as I always say, when you're adding your flour, make sure you don't over mix. So I'm adding the flour in three stages, interspaced with the milk. So add the flour, add the milk, mix it on a low speed until it's just combined. Add the second batch of flour and a bit of milk. Again, mix it on low speed. As you can see, as soon as I can't see any more flour, I stop and add the last batch um, of flour and milk and then mix it. Uh, once I've added in all the flour and I've mixed until just combined, I like to swap and hand mix the rest of the way. Um, that way I don't over mix. If you over mix your cakes, all the gluten molecules will start to work and that will um, ruin your cake texture. So don't over mix your cake. Once it looks like this, your batter is ready. So divide um, a little bit, so two or three large spoons uh, into a separate bowl. You're gonna use that to make the chocolate bit of your marble cake. So I've already lined my cake tin. If you don't know how to line your cake tin, I have a tutorial showing you how to line both a square and a round cake tin. So you can find out how to do that. And that's important so that your cake comes out in one bit. So I've put the uh, vanilla bit into the tray um setting it nicely so that it's uh, nice and even and you can also tap it uh, to get an even uh, finish on your cake 
So next we're going to add the melted chocolate. So at this stage, it should have cooled down nicely. Add it to your batter and just mix it gently until it's combined into the cake batter. Have you subscribed to Dr. Mommy Cake? Did you know that I post a video every Friday on, with lots of cake decorating tutorials, cake recipes, tips and tricks that people don't tell you about that make the difference when you are baking. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It will really, really help you uh, learn how to make great cake. So subscribe and click on the notification button. Uh, thank you. So um, the chocolate bit is nicely uh, ready and next we're going to do the marbling bit which I think is the fun and nice bit. So to create the marbling effect you want to put um, two or three uh, dollops of uh, the chocolate um, batter into uh, the cake. So you notice that you're using more vanilla uh, than chocolate and then you use a cocktail stick or here I'm using a lollipop stick just to gently stir it and pattern it uh, into the mixture. So you want to have nice uh, random streaks of chocolate butter mixed with the vanilla. Um, so you can see why we're not putting a lot. If you put in too much uh, chocolate, then you'll not get that marble effect. So it's better to put in a little bit uh, and then add more to where you need it. And again, using that cocktail stick, uh, or a lollipop stick or something of that sort uh, to kind of nicely swell all the, the chocolate um, batter into the vanilla uh, to give you a nice uh, marble um, look. And once you're done, pop it in the oven to cook. And all you have to do is wait until your cake is ready. Et voila, look at that cake that does look amazing doesn't it marble cake is so easy to make it looks beautiful and it tastes amazing thank you for watching my tutorial and don't forget to subscribe i will see you next time happy baking